hello guys welcome to my uh, second tutorial on uh, how how can we build a large uh, wireless network that that will be used uh, that that are uh, that can be found in the university and college so uh, this, this this part we have done earlier in my previous via uh, previous tutorial now I'm going to do the uh, add some server with this network and see whether the server are uh, working with it or not let's see so for that I have to I have to take two server I am going to uh, make two server like uh, one HTTP server and one DNS server so let's see so those two server will be connected uh, to the router using a uh, using a switch so let's connect to the server to the switch okay so uh, they are now connected uh, but uh, I have to as I as I have uh, uh, connected the connected the uh, uh, server port here on the router on the port uh, 0 1 so I have to configure the port 0 1 first Ethernet port 0 1 let's configure it so here I will put a IP address uh, for the for that port for the second port uh, that is the first Ethernet 0 1 that is connected to the server so let's uh, configure this so uh, let's see N now you will see that the the lights on the router and the server will all turn into green soon so that means that the uh, connection is established now i have to i have to configure the server one and server zero server zero will be the HTTP server so let's do that for that i'll first uh, uh, name it as http server okay so i'll configure the ip first so the ip will be 10 0, 0, 2 for the http and the gateway will be the ip of the router right so the ip of the router is in that case 10 0, 0, 1 because it is connected to the fast internet port 0, 1 and we have assigned this ip to the 0, 1 port right so for that you have to uh, uh, go to the HTTP and uh, check uh, make sure that the service is on and you can like it's a sample uh, page you can just put anything here here I will be uh, welcome to J okay I'll uh, I'll make sure that it is working for that I'll uh, I change the header of this file okay uh, let's uh, make sure that all are off like the DHCP and TFTP and the DNS uh, make sure that these all are off right so this is the uh, settings for the HTTP server let's uh, make sure this uh, the setting for the server one that will be the DNS server Okay, so it's the DNS server. Let's configure the IP. So I'm going to give it the IP three. Okay, the same uh, same settings like uh, without the chair, uh, it uh, just it will have a different IP. Let's uh, go there HTTP and uh, make sure it is off, and click off here, off here also, and here you have to put a domain name like website url uh, like uh, domain name so in that case i am going to assign it dot edu dot bd okay so uh, for that uh, for that i have to put the ip address and the ip address will be the same ip address that uh, that uh, that is the you know ip address of the dns server so let's put this ip address here and uh, make sure they are added here so uh, click on the add and they will be here so let's see whether the other ports are off 
those are off okay so the configuration is done for the dns server also let's see whether uh, all the pc can uh, can have the you know can have can have the access of the http server and dns server let's uh, let's ping and see wh what happens for checking the http server you have to click uh, you can uh, take any any pc and go there and click on the command and ping to the http server like the http server ip is 10 0 0 and 2 let's see whether they are ping or uh, whether they are getting response uh, so if the, if they are getting response that means their connection is established see first time it will take some time let's see probably i miss something i'm not sure let's see no it's not working so i have done something wrong right let's see again no i have done something wrong okay so let's see whether they have oh shit so uh they don't have the connection i i uh, i said those connection earlier on my previous video but uh when i you know save them i uh, somehow deleted those connection okay so let's give its ip address and uh, as you can now see that uh, if i uh, don't you know don't rename this pc using his ip address then i'll not be able to you know the correct type the ip address so th this will help me here so this is helping me here right okay so uh for connecting this pc to the dns server we have to put the dns address so let's uh do it uh the dns uh dns ip address is three okay so let's check now we have been Okay, let's ping. Yes, we are getting the response from the HTTP server. Okay, so uh, another way to check this uh, is uh, is to um, click on the web browser here and type the IP address of the HTTP. So let's see what happens. Here you can see that uh, we have the HTTP page set up on the HTTP server and the page is showing here and I, I changed the uh, page header like, like uh, this welcome to JKK and IU. So it's, uh, it's here so uh, the connection is established. So let's see whether the connection uh, to the let's see whether the connection to the uh, DNS server is established or not. So the, for the DNS server the ping command will be 10, 0, 0 and 3. okay we are getting the response from the dns server so the connection is established so now we can see whether the ping uh, works for the domain name so let's see whether the domain name is working okay we are getting the response from the uh, dns server that means the our dns server and the stc server is connected to the whole network just what we need to do now we need to just uh, assign those uh, ips to the pc so that they have the static ip and uh, that is what we all need to do here so let's set up another pc here so that you will be able to understand what i am doing here okay the dns server is 10 0, 0 1 it will be 3 okay so if we get uh, now if we uh, uh, give the ping command from this pc to the http server we will find that this is also getting the response from the http okay so we are getting the response from the http and we can also ping the dns server to make sure the connection is properly working yeah the connection is properly working now so uh, the, this is the in a nutshell this is the uh this is the network of uh, 
college or uh, university that we usually you know usually find in our uh, educational institutions so uh, using the http server and dns server and one router and several switch and uh, access points and you know that is the wi-fi network of a of a pc or system so uh, that's all for today thank you uh, uh, thank you and i'll see you on the on my next tutorial